Hey guys, it's Sarah. I understand I didn't say everything in my last video and I didn't get to all the important news, like the relevant news. I know I missed a lot of stuff. So I am making this video to be even more up to date. So here's the latest news that's been happening in the past 24 hours. <laughs> An article came out basically reassuring us that a lot of celebrities in Hollywood have basically faked pregnancies, not just Louis Tomlinson and Brianna. Like this article says, involved in fake pregnancies. Faking a pregnancy isn't new in Hollywood, but it is new to the One Direction fandom. To calm your nerves ever so slightly, here's just a small list of celebrities involved in fake pregnancies. And below they listed a few celebrities who have fake pregnancies, and one of them was even Beyonce. So it just comes to show that this isn't new stuff. By now we should all know about the Brianna Update account, remember the one who got like blocked by Jay and Louis and Harry? But Brianna Update said, like, you don't need to ship Louis and Harry together to know that. That is not how a woman who just gave birth looks like. And it's weird, because usually Brianna Updates is someone who supports Brianna and really doesn't talk very good about Louis and Harry. So it's weird for Brianna Updates to actually admit that, you know, you don't even need to ship Harry and Louis to know that this whole pregnancy thing is fake. And that Brianna doesn't even look like like she's pregnant. So I found that interesting that even update accounts who really aren't on our side are starting to see from our point of view and maybe they're starting to give up. And here's the news that everybody wanted me to talk about in my last video and here's the news that went all over Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram and that is basically making people like doubt Larry and just kind of jump ship. But Louis basically posted this on Twitter and Instagram and he says meet my lad Freddy which is the name of his baby so guys it's not Concho Bar. I kind of feel weird analyzing it because it's a baby and I say regardless of whose baby it is it's a baby and it's cute. So who cares if it's not Louis' baby? I'm still gonna say this baby's cute. But a lot of people were saying that this photo kind of looks fake. This baby's an infant, and I know just from my mom telling me that this is not how you hold an infant. When you're young, infants can't hold their heads up by themselves, so that's why it's very dangerous to have an infant lay on their stomach because they won't be able to pull their heads up, and actually infants can suffocate if they lay on their stomach. So since an infant cannot support its head, head upright. That's why it's the adult's job to hold its head a certain way so it doesn't suffocate itself. So the way Louis is holding this baby, you would think that he would know how to hold a baby, but that's not how you hold an infant. Like, yeah, maybe he only held the infant like that just for a split second, just for the photo. Other people were even saying that this photo is photoshopped, like they were circling certain shadows in the photo and they were like, okay, this is totally fake. But guys, even if the photo isn't fake, even if Louis is actually holding an infant, it doesn't mean it's really his infant. Other people also mention that it's weird that Louis's first photo with his baby, he's showing his is what it is tattoo. So people were speculating that that might be symbolic for Louis saying, well, the situation I'm put in, well, it is what it is. It's funny, in the photo, it looks like Louis's breastfeeding. Also on news of like not taking care of a baby the right way, there's a picture of Brianna holding her baby carrier with supposedly the baby in it, and she's holding it while also holding her phone in the same hand. Hand. So not only is she holding the baby carrier with just one hand, she's holding her phone and the baby carrier in one hand, which is not safe at all. Like Brianna's basically saying, oh, priorities? Um, I don't know. My phone is just as important as my baby. If she really cared about that baby and if there was actually a baby in there, I bet she would probably put her phone in her bag, in her pocket, or somewhere else where she wouldn't be putting this baby in danger. Because if you're holding two things at the same time, she could easily drop that baby carrier and hurt the baby. But this baby stuff has gotten so popular that the name Freddy and even Conchobar have been trending on Twitter. Freddy was trending with 10 million tweets and Conchobar was trending with 130,000 tweets. Also, what kind of made me unsure about this whole baby situation is Louie's mom, Joanna, actually changed her Twitter bio. She said, I'm the lucky lady who can call herself Louie Tomlinson, Lottie Tomo, Fizz Fizz Fizz, Phoebe, Daisy Doris, Ernest, Mummy. Freddie's nanny and Dan's wife. So she basically listed her whole family and then Louie's child as her family. This is just my opinion, but if the baby was fake, I don't think Jay would really type in her bio, like publicize this whole baby thing that like, oh, like Freddie is now my grandson. I think if the baby thing was fake, Joanna would kind of just not talk about it and she would not put it in her bio. I think she'd probably just ignore it. But then I was thinking, what if Joanna just doesn't know? Like what if Louie doesn't 
doesn't even know. Like, what if the baby is actually not Louis and Louis is going to find that out, but they just don't know yet? Because maybe all this time, maybe Joanna actually thinks that Louis is the father and it's his kid, but maybe in a few days we might actually find out that it's not Louis's kid, and then Joanna would be mad at Brianna for making up lies and just mad at her whole family. So you guys have to know that there's a few possibilities with this whole situation. Because, like, I don't know, I just feel like if the baby was fake, Joanna would not write that in her Twitter bio. But an article came out saying that Louis Tomlinson's demanding a DNA test after birth of son. And all this is confusing because I thought Louis already had like a DNA test or some sort of test, but maybe this is some different test. So this is kind of just more proof that we shouldn't be worrying because it sounds like none of this stuff is set in stone yet. I don't think anybody really knows whether this is totally legit or not. Like it sounds like Louis doesn't even know according to these headlines. Like if these headlines are true, it sounds like Louis still wants test them. Because think about it, when Louis and Joanna and Louis's whole family knows that this whole baby thing was like fake or Brianna was lying or just doing anything to get money or whatever their family does, they're gonna be so upset with her and her family and that's gonna be a mess of a situation and so much hate is gonna go towards Brianna more than it is right now. But in better news while all this is happening, there was news about Lottie and Gemma currently working together in London, hashtag sisters-in-law. And I need pictures to prove this. And what I'm wondering is that if Louie and Harry's sisters can hang out together, why can't Louie and Harry hang out together? I think that's very unfair. But I think it's legit because if you go on Gemma's Twitter and if you go on Lottie's Twitter, they both have this link in their bio and it's to this beauty website or something. And I think they both work for it. So I think they both work for the same beauty website or something. And that's cute that both Harry and Louie's sisters like work in the same department or they both like hang out with each other. Now all we need is Louie and Harry to hang out with each other. But other weird stuff is going on. This exposed modest rep account tweeted the numbers 28 and 29 basically dates that weird stuff might happen. But that's weird because today is the 28th and nothing really happened. But people are saying that they might be trying to warn us because the RBB Twitter account did post a picture of the book called Calm, like warning us to stay calm. And it says little book of calm paperback January 28th, 1999. And this person said sounds like someone isn't in the capable hands of modest anymore. Let it start. And this person and basically typed what I was thinking. Why did they hire Paps to pat Brianna alone, although it's illegal? And why was Brianna Fax created on May 12th when no one knew her name? And why did we get more pics of Louie and Brianna in an empty car seat that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West with St. West? Why did they hire Paps? Why was Brianna's mom papped twice, two days before Louie Thomason is going to be a dad? Articles go out? Why didn't Louie look straight through the paps and didn't tell them off? Why did Louie look like he wanted to punch a wall every time he was asked about the damn baby? Why did Louie never mention the baby? Why did Louie say no responsibilities? Why did he only post this after history got out? Why did 1DHQ hire paps to pap Louie and Brianna this week in a private property? Why did Brianna's bump keep changing sizes every time she was seen? Why didn't she have a bump at all on Christmas? Not the one she posts, stole it from another blogger. Why did Calvin say that he dropped Louie off at Harry's the night Louie and Brianna supposedly had sex? So yeah, those are all the questions that I have too. They, this does not make sense. And lastly, an article came out saying that Zayn Malik reveals he never wanted to be in One Direction. And a video came with it too. It says, Zayn reveals when he started to realize he wasn't happy in the band and his answer will once again break your heart. He said, I think I kind of always wanted to go from like the first year really. I never really wanted to be there in the band. Zayn did enter the X Factor as a solo artist so it makes sense he didn't originally want to be part of a band but everyone just assumed that it became something he wanted when he met the other boys and got on so well with them. Apparently not. Zayn said, I just gave it a go because it was there at the time. Then when I realized the direction we were going in, mind the pun, with the music Music, I instantly realized it wasn't for me because I realized I couldn't put any input in. I couldn't give my opinion on this or that because it didn't fit the grain of what we were as a band or what we represented. That's when it became frustrating for me. He says, I didn't want to be the person who said I was right because who am I to say that? I think the boys knew in terms of the music that wasn't my cup of tea. He said they would try to facilitate certain things for me so I could sing certain R&B ad-libs here and there and that was nice. But I think they always knew. So it was really sad for me to read 
read that article, but also watch the video of him saying those words. Like, it's sad that Zayn was there the whole time, but he never really wanted to be there. Like, he pretty much kept those feelings to himself the whole time. So this is why I kind of hate when people hate on Zayn for leaving, because he's much happier now. It doesn't matter if you think that what Zayn's doing right now is, like, defeating the purpose of, like, taking a break. But he can do what he wants. So if you guys have seen or heard any more interesting things, leave it down below. And like always, I post whenever I want, so like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!